The National Crime Victim Bar Association is a professional association of about 400 attorneys nationwide, and those attorneys have dedicated their career to helping victims of crime through the civil justice process. In 1986, Frank Carrington started working with the National Center for Victims of Crime with the focus that crime victims really needed to be able to access the justice system and that we needed attorneys who knew how to help victims go through it. There are so many extra needs that sometimes victims have that it really needs to be a specialty. So Frank worked with the National Center to start the Bar Association and it has blossomed from there. It's just become a really congenial group of folks who work together to make the world better and with the sole focus of helping victims of crime. I think the mission is to help lawyers who are representing uh, clients to help them do the best they can to learn from each other, to learn what's going on, what the, how laws have changed, how people are handling things. And then we can help our clients in a very difficult time in their lives. If someone is looking at doing more crime victim work, whether it's their first case involving a sexual assault or they want to do more negligent security work, I'd absolutely encourage them to join the organization. We have a robust listserv where attorneys share ideas and information and tips so that way when you are just participating on that listserv, you may learn different approaches to your case that you would not have thought about but for being on that listserv. If there's any lawyer that comes to me and tells me that they are representing a victim of crime, the first question I ask them is whether they're a member of NCVBA. The second you join NCVBA, you are plugged into a network of attorneys from across the country with decades and decades of experience supporting and representing victims of crime. These are folks who have fought the legal battles for the victims of sexual abuse within the Catholic churches, within the Baptist churches, within medical facilities, victims of inadequate security who lost their loved ones outside of a grocery store or a convenience store. And all of these people know what it's like to have that first client that you want to do the best possible job that you can do. And all of them know that without their support, you can't get the best outcome for your client. And that's ultimately all everybody wants within the organization, is the best possible outcome for everyone who's a victim of crime. And that's why we get together. That's why we galvanize. That's why we support each other. That's why we share information. Because at the end of the day, if your outcome is great, it helps us everywhere across the country. If you're a lawyer who's interested in representing victims of crime and survivors of crime in civil cases, it's good to have a team of lawyers who are experienced doing this work who you can lean on for support. It can be exhausting. You can suffer from compassion fatigue. It's really good to have a group of people to help you. So I believe any lawyer who's in this space should be a part of this organization. It's a great group. It's different from other trial bars across the country. The sessions are awesome. The people are great. And you can't go wrong by being a member of the National Crime Victim Bar Association.